Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is English Shooting, I'm Callum, and let's get into the video. Around this topic, there's been a lot of misconceptions over many years, and I'm hoping to be able to clear them up today. And this is all around converting shotguns between section two to section one, and even from section one to section two. And after speaking to the Birmingham Proof House today, I can confirm that both are completely legal and completely possible. So in this video, I'm gonna go through why you might want to do either, and also how you can facilitate that and even do it yourself, and also the criteria involved. So why would you want to take a section two shotgun to a section one? Well, for a bit of background to our laws, a section two shotgun held under a shotgun certificate in regards to a semi-auto or pump action have to be restricted. To be able to be held under a shotgun certificate, the tubular magazine can have no more than two cartridges in it. This leads to the expression of two plus one, two in the tube, one in the chamber with a section one semi-auto or pump action held under a firearm certificate, there are no capacity restrictions. So for a lot of sport, mainly practical shotgun under IPSC or three gun, you're gonna to want to have an unrestricted gun with firearm certificates being harder to obtain and usually taking a lot longer than shotgun certificates, you end up with a lot of people owning section two shotguns long before they own section ones. So when they get their firearm certificate, when they get that slot on their firearm certificate for a section one shotgun, they're most likely gonna to want to convert their section two restricted capacity pump action or semi-auto into an unrestricted gun. This is the most straightforward process. It's fairly simple and doesn't need any other parties involved. It can be done at home. Again, I would highly stress you go to a gunsmith and a registered firearms dealer just to be on the safe side. There are some guns that unfortunately it's quite easy to completely write the action off if you don't remove the internal magazine tube correctly. With there usually being a permanent crimp on the internal tube of the gun, you have to remove the tube. There are some times where you can remove that crimp and keep the existing tube, but usually for the small cost, around 30 to 50 pound depending on the gun it's just easier to remove that internal magazine tube some don't even have a crimp it will be a hard block and really there's just no way of removing it so you absolutely have to go to a new internal tube but you also have to cover the legal side of things and if you're doing it on your own this is completely possible but you obviously must have an open slot on your firearm certificate ready and waiting. Don't think, oh, I've just had my interview, it's in the post, I'll get it done now. No, you need to be able to sign that gun on to your firearm certificate straight away. So being section two, it will be held under your shotgun certificate, it will be written on there, and you should have your firearm certificate with that empty slot ready and waiting. Simply gift the gun to yourself. You can put it down on your firearm certificate on your own, just write it as gift, obviously put the same serial number, make and model, and then once it's signed on to your firearm certificate, you can then cross it off of your shotgun certificate, as easy as that. But again, if you have any doubts, if you take it to a registered firearms dealer, they will be able to do all of the paperwork and legal side of things, as well as the practical side of things. If you do need any more guidance or help or need somebody to facilitate this for you, please get in contact with Magload. You can find our contact details 
on magload.co.uk or even drop us an email info at magload.co.uk just to pause for one moment if you're enjoying this video and finding it useful please give it a big thumbs up and also consider subscribing for future videos and content it makes a huge difference to the channel and helps us to reach new people and get them into this incredible sport of shooting now let's talk about the other way because this gets a little bit more complex and there's a few more processes involved but i do want to say absolutely clear as day that it is completely possible i was actually under the impression for many many years that you could not go back to section two once a shotgun had been under a section one firearm certificate but that's just completely not the case you can switch between the two in theory as many times as you want so in the practical sense it is the reverse you need to again restrict the capacity of that gun and there is a document that sets out the standards that the proof house will be looking for to be able to approve the restriction and this is part of the additional step that you're going to have to take whilst the gun doesn't need reproofing you haven't actually touched any of the pressure bearing parts you will require a magazine restriction certificate to be issued from either the birmingham proof house or the london proof house if you do not restrict the gun to these standards you will not get that magazine restriction certificate and the gun will still remain section one this is again something that you're most likely wants to get a professional to do crimping guns putting in additional components pinning things in place you want to make sure that that is done absolutely correctly and you don't want to take the risk of damaging the gun and writing it off so please again go through a an rfd or a gunsmith that would be my advice but legally there's nothing stopping you from doing this at home but you will need to send it off to the proof house. As a FAC holder or shotgun certificate holder, you won't be able to send it in the mail. Yes, you can go and drop it off in person, but usually in practice, you will have to have it sent there via post, which will involve an RFD. And because the gun will be coming back under a different classification you're going to want to get the rfd to then sign it on to the new certificate obviously you're going from your firearm certificate they're going to want to sign it on to your shotgun certificate in practice again if you drop it off yourself you can do this at the proof house you can cross it off your firearm certificate and say it's no longer filling that slot and gift it to yourself on your shotgun certificate no problem at all but again it's probably easier and better all round that you go through an rfd so why would you want to restrict the capacity of your shotgun and turn it into a section two surely once you've got your firearm certificate and an unrestricted shotgun you want it to stay that way well there's many reasons you might want to do this first off you might not be continuing a membership of a home office approved club you might not be able to maintain your firearm certificate but you're still able to maintain your shotgun certificate you might not want to then sell off the gun have it re-restricted and then moved on to your shotgun certificate so you can still keep it there's also the situation where there might be certain guns like the m2 speed that don't come in a section to variant from the shop or from the importer so you might want to arrange to have that gun sent off to be restricted so that whilst you only have a shotgun certificate and you are waiting for your firearm certificate you can get to grips with it get training with it albeit in a two plus one configuration but you can go out and get that gun under the shotgun certificate get used to it and then once your firearm certificate comes through then have it unrestricted again and start using it to its fullest there's also the complication that a section one shotgun an unrestricted one cannot be shared by anybody other than the 
certificate holder. So even if it's you have two certificate holders, they have identical guns, they can only shoot the ones that the serial number is on their certificate. This is due to a lack of exemptions within law to allow this. It's not expressly prohibited. There's just no legal mechanism to allow you to do it. So because of this, it's incredibly limiting of who can use that gun. And if you end up with a number of them, let's say you end up buying a new one and that's gonna become your main competition gun and you've effectively got a spare that you might want to let your friends have a go with, other club members or new members as a club gun. Well, getting it converted to section two means that it's still going to have some use. It's still going to be able to be used by other people. And it's not just going to necessarily sit in your safe gathering rust. So plenty of cases where you might want to take it from a section one and a section two. And really, I can't be clear enough. The myth that it can't be done is completely wrong. Converting from section two to section one and section one to section two is completely fine and to clarify can be done as many times as you want. So I hope that clears things up about converting section one and section two shotguns. If you do have any questions at all, please use the comment section below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Alternatively, again, you can get in contact with Magload and we can help you there. But I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up and also consider subscribing for any future videos and content. And of course, as always, I hope to see you soon.